Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here and today I want to share with you a fun little project I've been playing with over the last few weeks. I bought this gorgeous magazine from my news agency for two dollars because Look, I wasn't really that interested in the content, but the paper is gorgeous, and I thought, oh, it would be fun to use to make an art journal with. But then, the other day, I also realised that since doing Junk Journal July, which I loved doing, I've hardly done any art journaling, because I don't have a lot of time. But I sat down with this the other day, and I created my first page, just doing some backgrounds and I went, hang on a minute, what if I use this book to create a ton of backgrounds so that every time I want to do something, make a tag, do a page, make a journal, I have a supply ready to go. So I'll give you a quick flip through of what I have done so far in this magazine. I have skipped a few pages because I actually like the content and want to keep it. For example, love this cover page but adore this so not touching that page this one here was just a bit of gesso and then some stamping in a color very similar to what was already printed on the page then this one was just splashing down some spare paint i used this page because they i sort of picked up on the colors that were printed on it and just added a little bit more to it then this one was just a heap of scraps that I have um, had in my stash and I just glued them all down onto a dark blue background that I painted. This one here was just a serviette that was all torn up and used some matte gel medium to stick it straight on the page. I've left this one because I quite like these little magazine images, they might come in handy. Then next one, oh I left this because I quite like those patterns so I thought oh, I'll hang on to that page then this one here was just a little bit of black paint and again some stenciling tried to pick a color that was very similar to what was already on the page then just a bit of um, beautiful teal sort of color and then I used a toilet ring to stamp on some gorgeous copper rings this one here, I just sten grabbed a stencil that I've got that's just numbers, put that down all over the page. This one here is just done with um, some markers. It doesn't look amazing the way it is, but if you tear off a strip and then stick it down on a page, it can, you can, especially if you tear them, you can come up with some really great effects. This one here, I had some leftover dark blue paint, so I just threw a few stripes down. A bit of orange and yellow paint and then lots of metallic gold dots now this one I used markers on normal white copy paper and created all these patterns tore them up and stuck them down makes for an interesting background or just had a little bit of fun with some finger painting on that one uh, just some different shades of green and some leaves Oh, my favourite way of doing collage, lots of little bits of magazine cutouts, all with a similar theme, in this case, water. This one was just a heap of die cuts and some tropical themed paper and seeing we're heading into summer soon, I thought that one might come in handy. This was just a bit of rainbow painting with a sponge. Oh, did a galaxy sheet because I love painting galaxy things. Oh, didn't want to paint over that. I just love the look of that waffle. I might just uh, use that somewhere. And I wanted to try this recipe, potato waffles. They sounded good, so kept that one there. Loved the map, left that. This one here is just, again, a serviette that's been torn out, stuck down, and some butterfly stamping. Again, I wasn't covering up those yummy desserts. They look too good. Um, I painted this the background pale pink and then just a heap of flower die cuts and some squiggling with a fine black marker. Again, egg and rice pockets. Thought that sounded yummy, so we've left that there. 
Oh my gosh, this one, I was just laying down all sorts of rubbish. I think this looks a bit like a unicorn fart in all honesty. Don't quite know what I was trying to achieve there, but I've left it in there. It may come in handy. Just playing with some paint in the background, some stamps, and then just a little bit of highlight painting because I sort of had these colours left over. I thought, oh, I'll pop those down on there. This one, neon green, black, a little bit of stenciling. Loved this one, pastel paint over the background and then a little bit of uh, stamping using stamp related stamps. <laughs> Cute background. And then this one, again, was just some spare paint popped down and then using the same colours to do some contrast stamping. Oh, and this one, Again, using scraps created sort of like a quilting effect. Quite like how that turned out. And I think that's as far as I've got so far. But the whole idea of this is if I want a background page, I can just gently cut this out, stick it in my journal, and I'm ready to go. Just add some words or a poem or whatever I feel like it or some ephemera. And I can have a page done in just a few minutes because all the hard background work is done. And then if you want, let's say for example, you find one, you've got a pattern, you want some shapes, you just grab a stamp and just stamp out some shapes, circles, whatever you like. If you want to make a tag, you just cut out the bit you need, run it through your die cutting machine, you've got tags. If you want to really quickly put a journal together, just rather than tearing, gently slice out whichever pages you want to use, pop in some holes with a hole punch together with a couple of clips and guess what you've instantly got yourself a journal so I just thought this was a really good idea you could use any magazine that you have I have realized with this one because it's thick but it's absorbent paper if you want things to look bold I do need to gesso first but it doesn't matter I've just created some fun backgrounds and it can save me a lot of time when I actually want to sit down and do some journaling. And I hope you might like to uh, try the same thing. Just go and grab any magazine, have some fun, put all your leftover paint in it, stick paper scraps all the way through it instead of leaving them lying around, and bam, you've got yourself an instant journal. Hope you found this helpful. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And until next time, take care.